Hi there, Stampers and Crafters. My name is Tammy White from StampWithTammy.com and welcome to my online class. And I'm sorry that I didn't have a pre-scheduled class today like I normally do. Um, we had some construction that you can probably see in the background and there was a lot of banging around here. So I wanted to wait until they left and I really didn't know when that was going to be. So thanks for joining me. If you were unable to join live and I know lack of planning probably had something to do with that. I hope you can catch the replay because it's a really cool class today. I'm going to be sharing how to make theater cards. These have also been called theater sliders, shadow box cards. It's a really fun fold 3D card and um, it's just it's really fun. So I'm going to share how to make one. I've got a whole series. This is kicking off a series and I'll show you the rest of them as um, at the end of the video. So you're going to want to stay tuned to that. I'm just going to pop right down and show you what we're doing. They're super, super cool. So this is uh, the card and when it's closed, we've got our little curtains closed here. It looks like this and then you pull your curtains open and you've got a cool 3D and I'll even put this on the lower cam here so you can see. You've got a really cool 3D box here of a card. Isn't that cool? And it folds down flat and it's so easy to make. You're going to really be surprised at how easy these are to make. And then I'll also share with you um, a second card, which will be made the same way. I'm not, I'm not going to make the second card. I'm just going to show it to you. This was actually one that I made for um, a friend's birthday. And what I did was um, I took a photo of their house and I put it in the background instead of designer series paper. And then I made a floating wake border. They're very big into wakeboarding. And so I, I put that on a window sheet. So the wake border is, is it looks like he's flying, floating through the air across the house. So I thought that was kind of a cool twist on this. So if you're looking for fun photo, like personalized ideas, that's a cool one too. But the first thing we're going to do is make this one. So welcome aboard everyone. It is great to see you guys. And um, while you guys are on board, we are live. Let me just tell you a little bit about what's happening. I will be giving away a free set, a complete set of uh, 22, 24 in color stamp and blend markers. Uh, I'll be giving these away to one lucky winner out there and all you gotta do is leave a comment. I am live on Facebook, YouTube, and Twitter. All you need to do is leave a comment and if you share this video onto, um, social media such as Pinterest or Facebook and type shared into the comments, I'll enter you a second time. So it's a pretty good, pretty good giveaway today. And it's great to see you. Um, I, I, I'm really excited that you guys could make it, those of you who are on here live. So, oh yeah, I see a lot of you are excited about to see this. So, um, oh my goodness, what is happening here? I am losing my, let's see, sorry. Let me go right back onto here. Okay. Sorry, my, uh, one of my things went wonky on me, which is normal when you're live. <laughs> All right, so I'm gonna start, I'm just gonna start, Steve. Actually, let me just tell you a little bit about what I'm using today. So the card that we're gonna make is using this Fragrant Flowers bundle. Uh, it's brand new in the mini catalog, and I'll also be using the uh, brand new Celebration Paper Favored Flowers. Favored Flowers is a really cool, um, it's free with a $50 order and it's beautiful. I'll show you that as we go because I just think it's absolutely gorgeous. Okay, so that's what I'm giving away. This is what we're using. And also there is a free PDF on my blog and it includes a template. It is really, these are super easy to make. I think you're gonna really be surprised at how easy they are to make. But the template really helps um, with the panels. Once you, once you cut them and score them, bang, done. It's like so simple to put together. Okay, so with that, Let's get started. First thing I'm gonna do is um, I'm gonna make this frame panel. So I'll just take this apart really quickly. Um, so there's two pieces to it. We've got our theater box part here, and then we've got our, our panel that slides. So the first thing we're gonna wanna do is make a window box. So I'm taking a standard size uh, five and a half by four and a quarter sheet of cardstock. And I'm using black, but I know um, I'm using a black base, which sometimes is hard to see on the video, black on black. After I make this, I will do another quick one with some different colors so that you can see the pieces, how they fit together. Sometimes when I do them in different colors, it's a little bit easier to see. But let's make this card first. And then, um, oh my gosh, isn't this paper beautiful? I'm already feeling bad about this, <laughs> putting this paper down. Okay, so the, the favorite flowers, oh, my seal is not... 
Everybody's not acting up to, everybody's not behaving to them. I can't tell if I'm at the end. I think I am. I see the little red thing on there. Let me see if I got another refill in here. Yep. Woo! Okay. Good. I'm putting seal adhesive around the edges. The favorite flowers is, oh my goodness, they both need refills. Okay, so first things first, let's go ahead and do a refill because this one's almost at its red, its red line, which means it's empty. For those of you who are uh, <laughs> new to seal adhesive, I'm just going to, before I get started, little uh, bonus, how to put a seal refill in. So uh, step one, open the package. Step two, uh, put the refill inside the applicator. Pop the applicator back together and boom, we are back. All right. Oh, so much better. Okay, so I'm using, uh, back to the favorite flowers. This is celebration paper. You can get it free in January and February during celebration. And it coordinates with the fragrant flowers stamp set bundle that I'm using. I only put adhesive around the edge. I didn't put it in the middle. And I'll show you why. If this is totally up to you how you do it, but I think this is cool because now you're gonna be able to get a little bit more out of this designer series paper. Okay, so to make the window, I'm just gonna pull in the um, Stampin' Cut and Emboss machine. I'm gonna put that panel that I just put together right on top. Now this is from the stitched rectangle dies. So these are, these are a staple. I use these on a lot of projects, but I'm taking the fourth largest and I'm gonna place it right in the middle and this is gonna cut our window out. Deb says she can see a lot of different possibilities for this fold and you know what? I'm gonna show you some. <laughs> uh, we are, there are definitely a lot of possibilities for this fold. I totally, totally agree with you. Now, now we're, Boy, everything is just not behaving today. Now we're, let's see if I can get that back in focus. Yay. Jeez, it's gonna be one of those videos. It always, it always adds a little element of fun, you know, when <laughs> there's challenges. So the reason why I didn't put adhesive in the middle is because then you can turn around and use this piece of designer paper for another project. So it gives you just a little bit of extra mileage out of that beautiful designer series paper that you probably don't want to use all of it. And you know, I don't want to waste it. I like to use as much of it as I possibly can. All right, so now that we've got the frame, let me show you the cut panels. And if you're just popping on now, if you haven't um, watched from the beginning, I do have a free PDF on my blog and um, on the free PDF, I have a template and the template, I'm just gonna bring it in here and show you because I'm, I'm probably gonna use my cheat sheet as I go. The template has all of these cut panels that I'm, I'm showing you right now. So no, no worries about needing to write anything down really fast because I've already got it written down for you. So these are the panels, there should be two of these. Well, if we don't have two, we're going to cut another one. So we've got our card base, which is a standard size card base. These do fold flat and fit into a standard size card. We've got the frame panel that we just made, which is actually the same size. We've got the, what, what's going to be the two curtains that these two sides right here that pop in and out. And then we've got the eye beam that's going to hold our subject in there that's going to pop out. And then we're going to have two of these sliders for the back. And since I seem to be missing one, I'm going to just cut another one really quickly. And that piece of scrap paper is not going to cut. So these guys are three quarter inches. Again, you don't have to write this down because it is on that PDF by six and a quarter. Oh, you know what? I know what I did wrong. <laughs> They're three quarter inches by, I'm just going to show you this one first. I left them, this is an inch and a half wide here. 
but you need two three and a quarter so i left it together to show you a quick way to i didn't even read my own notes i left it together to show you a quick way to do this so you're going to put it in a half a half inch in on either end to be a little bit better on either end and score it at a half inch and then i'm going to cut it in half bam see i had myself all set up for this and then <laughs> It is what it is. All right, so you never know what you're gonna get with a live video. So we've got a fold right here, fold right here. So these are gonna be our um, frame holders. Okay. So here's our pieces. All right. <laughs> yeah, you're funny, Betty. It's like, you do something wrong? Never, <laughs> only every video. Okay, so. I am going to start by, so we've already done our, our side holders and I'm gonna move the rest of this out of the way. What we're gonna do is score our curtains and then we're gonna make the I-beam. You're gonna die when you see how easy this is. Seriously, it's just, it's sick how fun and easy these are. I start, well, you know, once I get going on something, I start to get a little bit addicted to it and then I can't stop. So this is gonna go in at one and a sixteenth. And I'm using the paper trimmer because the Simply Scoring only has eighths of an inch. It doesn't go down to a sixteenth, and the paper trimmer does. And then two and five eighths. And you're going to do that on both panels. So one and a sixteenth. And two and five eighths. And we're going to take our handy dandy bone folder. And we're just going to score those. So they're going to be our, our curtain folds, the mechanism that slides in and out. That's what those are going to be. Now, the last thing that we're going to want to do, and I'm just going to mark those. See, I, I'm only putting these pink things on here, and I, you probably can't even see the writing because it's a little bit light. It's only just so you guys know which, what the pieces are. So these are our two curtains. I figure while you're watching, it's you might get confused because they're all black. I'll do one more with the colors and then that way they'll stand out. Okay, so now for the I-beam. The I-beam is what's going to hold up our 3D piece right here. Oh, actually, we need to cut slits in the curtains. I'll do that after. Actually, let's do that before the I-beam just so that we do it all together. Okay, so in the curtain, we need to, we need to cut a slit right here that the i beam is going to slide in and out of and so i'm going to take this i'm going from let's see from this edge make sure okay so from that edge and we're going to go in one and a half inches so this is the edge okay just want to make sure you can see it one and a half inches in i'm going to start at a half inch so i'm going to start my blade there's a there's a grid right here on the side of the of the cutter i'm going to go from a half inch to one and a half inch so that's like a one inch cut right there and the thing with the curtains is you can do this you can do it exactly the same on both of them so one and a half in and i'm going backwards now from one and a half to a half inch for our so we've got our slice there to hold the ivy all right, now, now we're gonna make that ivy. Ready for this? So this guy, that's four and a quarter by one and a half inches. I'm gonna slide it in at um, a half inch in. So half inch in on the paper trimmer, and I'm gonna cut down a quarter of an inch. And I'm gonna do that on all four sides. So it's a half inch on the paper cutter, and then I'm gonna cut a quarter inch in. Line it up at a half inch, cut a quarter inch in, flip it over, do the same exact thing. So we're going to have four of those slits. And I'm not sure how well, let's see if I do that a little bit. You can kind of see that, right? So now I'm going to put this in at a quarter of an inch. And I'm going to cut from um, the I-beam to the I-beam. So it started at a half inch, and then we're going to go, I'm going to start at a half inch, and then go to a half inch below which was I think three and three quarters and that's going to cut out the first the first part of the I-beam turn it around so it's a quarter of an inch in go from three and three quarters back to a half inch and then we've got our second 
So our I beams are made. I have that right here with a little with a little diagram. So if you if you didn't catch it, I'm going to do it one more time after we're done. But it, it's it's really easy to do. You could even hand cut that if you wanted to. It's not really going to show too much. Okay. So now once we've got all that together, let's bring our pieces back in because we are ready for assembly. So we've got. Let's see. These are going to go like so. You want those slits to be on the bottom. Okay, so curtain, curtain. Then we've got, this is our frame. And then we've got card base. Bada bing, bada boom. Card base, curtain, curtain, I beam. You can probably tell what the I beam is now, right? And we've got two of these. So I've got the frame and I'm gonna attach these guys to the back of the frame. You can attach with either seal or seal plus for this. A lot of times if I'm doing something with movement, I did not score those correctly. I scored them at a half inch and they're supposed to be scored at one inch. So I was trying to do things. <laughs> I was trying to be efficient and do them both at the same time. And I didn't even do them right. So sorry. I'm just going to redo it. No one's going to see that second score line anyways because we're going to cover it up. So just rescoring it at an inch. You still can do that scoring them at the same time and then cutting it in half. That still works. Just score it at one inch instead of a half inch. That's much better, much better. Okay, so that's gonna go right here on the back of the frame. So we're gonna, that is, that needs a reflaw. Bang, boom. So I've got on those two little pieces there and I'm going to, I'm just holding this up so you can see it. And I know it's black. I know sometimes that's hard to see. Again, I will do another one really quickly after in color, just so you can see. But that creates our holder. And I'm gonna do that on both sides. Okay, so we've got our little holder. A frame with the holders on the back attached. Next, we are going to take the card base and the two curtains. Now I am gonna use seal plus. This I really do want super strong. So when I attach these, I'm gonna fold it like this. See how there's that? Fold it like that on both of them. Make sure your slits on the bottom there and they'll line up just like that so i'm only putting adhesive on this edge and i am using a strong one Oops. nobody's cooperating with me today oh my gosh you've got to be kidding me seal plus you're fired we're going with sticky strip the tear tape <laughs> all right so again no one's gonna see it so I put that on just that one little edge I'm gonna line that up with the edge of the card face okay so I've got one down gonna make sure that little slits on the bottom do that again here You're gonna see it all come together in just a second. It's happening, it's happening. Okay, so again, that's only on that one little thing. I'm gonna fold it like this, line it up. You kinda of want these two to really line up and then the, everything else should line up. So that's gonna be our um, our poles. Now I'm gonna, I'm gonna show you something here. Actually, it'll be easier for me to show you when there's um, curtains. This little thing can fold in or out. Like I put the wings out on the back here. You don't see them either way, but when I do the one in color, I'll fold them in so you know what I'm talking about. It doesn't matter which way they go, whether they're in or out, unless you're using a different color. Okay, so I've cut pre-cut designer series paper here. I'm going to use the petal pink. This is the, the um, favorite flowers, beautiful paper. I know, it's making me a little sad putting this down on the bottom. I've pre-cut this to go on the I-beam so that the it will match. Okay, 
And then these are the two curtain panels. So you're right, Carol's like, you're having a hard time. It's because you're live. It is so true. So true. Every single time. Every single time. People are like, oh, I get so nervous going live. What if something goes wrong? I'm like, oh, it will. <laughs> it always does. But that's part of the fun. I think that's part of the fun of a live class, as well as, you know, you guys being able to participate and be there with me, which I really enjoy. It's much more fun than, than you know, stamping alone. So with the I-beam, I'm going to fold back these tabs just so I can fit it through the slit. So I've got a slit right here. And then I'm unfolding them once they go through. And then a slit right here. I'm, I'm unfolding the, the tab there so that that's in there good. So now you'll be able to, sorry, that's not, there we go. That's straight, boom, that's it. So then let's decorate it a little bit here. I cut these out of the designer series paper, these flowers. I pre-cut them. And this little guy can go down. Now, these will fold flat into um, a medium-sized envelope. And I know the first question everybody is trained to ask is, um, can I mail it? And the answer to that is, it depends on, uh, is there extra postage? The answer to the extra postage question is, it depends on how bulky you make it. If you do a lot of pop on here, you probably need um, extra postage. Uh, the last thing before I put the frame on, I pre, I just pre-did this. I used the, the fragrant flowers stamp set for the words and the dies have this label. So I cut it with this and this is the stamp set that matches the paper. So I used the word thanks and then I cut it out. I heat embossed it and cut it out. So I took a little window sheet because I love this <laughs> and I love making elements float. <laughs> they look like they're floating and so that is going to attach to the back of the frame so the words are going to appear like they're floating and they're going to show whether the card is open or closed so now we can go ahead and slide so those little um slider holders that we put in the back the ones that i had the wrong measurement on but remember how i said you're not going to no not going to see that second score line that i had to make because i screwed up you're not gonna see it. So now you just slide these guys right through. One more thing I'm gonna do, and I'm gonna go ahead and do this while it's already attached. And it's optional, but I think it helps. My goodness, that's tight, huh? And that is, um, I'm going to cut notches. I have a little, that's an old circle punch. We used to sell these and we don't anymore. But they really do come in handy for notches and things like this. So it's a circle punch and I'm just going to put it like halfway. So there's a little notch for your fingers to go in. And then that's it. Then the card is done. I should have used the, the strong adhesive on that. Remember when I said on the back that it didn't matter whether you use the strong adhesive or not? I'm retracting that statement and I'm saying when you put these sliders on, use the strong stuff. I didn't. <laughs> I totally cheated and it matters. <laughs> okay, so I'm just going to go ahead and, oh my gosh, this is just not going to cooperate with me right now. I'm going back to my original just because I know that one's already done. Okay, so this slides on. We've got our flower attached to the front. I attached some pastel pearls to it too. And then it slides. Woo, there we go. And then I just, I attached some of these pastel pearls because they matched. Yay. All right, so I know, I know I'm like, everything is whatever can go wrong is going wrong with me today on this video and that's okay <laughs> i'm glad you guys you guys have stuck with me all right so 
I'm gonna do this again really quick. Let me show you this paper before I do though. This is just, this is that celebration paper. It's so pretty, so pretty. I've used it for a lot of things. So it's, it's floral on one side. It's solid, well not solid, but you know, it's more solid pattern on the back and they coordinate and they're just, it's, it's fresh freesia and blackberry and calypso coral. And they're, the, the papers are gorgeous. So you can get that free with a $50 order during celebration. Okay, so really quickly, especially for those of you who um, might have popped in late, I'm going to do this again really quickly with colors. I'm not going to do the designer series paper. I'm just going to do the base. I think that you'll find um, that it's easier to see this with the colors, right? The I just think they stand out a little bit more. So let's get started. First thing we're going to do is cut the, the, the window out of the frame. Oh, Joe, no, no, don't even need to rewatch it. She's like, wow, I gotta rewatch it. You don't even need to. I'm gonna show you the, I'm gonna show you with now. And you're gonna like this even better because it's in color. And the colors, I think you'll be able to see a little bit better than the black. So the fourth largest, I'll just turn that over. I know what I have written on now. Oh, that's all right, just leave it there so you guys can read which panel is which. Fourth largest stitched rectangle die in the center for the window. And we're going to roll that through the Stampin' Cut and Boss Machine. Okay, so that's the frame. And next we're going to score our, score and slice the curtains. So the curtain pole. So those are each going to get scored at, I even wrote it on there. Again, measurements are on that. Measurements are on here and templates. So super, I, I'm trying to make it easy for you. <laughs> it's my goal in life. One and one sixteenth for a score. Oh my God, I just cut that. Are you kidding me? <laughs> it's going to make for a really short arm there. Let me redo that one. Okay, so that is five and three eighths by four and a quarter. And now I guess we're gonna go with copy instead. Five four and an eighth. Okay, let's try that again. That kind of a day. All right, so one and one sixteenth with the scoring blade this time, not the cutting blade. Friday the 13th, you are so right, Carol. Oh my gosh, you nailed it. That is exactly what's happening. Sarah, you guys are on the same wavelength. Yes, that is exactly what it is. Scoring a two and five eighths and the same thing with the other side. Oh, good times. I should have thought about that. <laughs> All right, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna burnish these. I'm just gonna do it really quickly because I just wanna show it to you. I wanna show you the fold with the, with the colors so you can see it a little bit better. Oh, let's do our slit. So the slit, you're gonna put this in one and a half inches in, and then you're gonna slit starting at the half inch mark on this on the grid on the side here to one and a half. Oops. I thought that would pop the blade out so I wouldn't do that again. No, let's pop it back in again. Okay, so starting at the half inch mark, go from half inch to one and a half for your slit. Do that on both, both curtain panels. Okay, I'm going to do it right this time. So if you're going back to make this, go back and watch. Um, I'll, I'll put a chapter marker here so you can come back to this colored section so you can see it done the correct way. All right, so cut in one, I mean, sorry, score in one inch and one inch on either end and then cut it in half so it should be three quarter inches and that's going to give us our two holders for the back. So that's our two holders for the back right there. We've got our two, two curtains and a frame panel. And the last cut is the eye beam. Okay. Yeah, maybe that is why, <laughs> that is why it's acting up, Joan. So true. Friday the 13th. Okay. So for the eye beam, going in a half inch. So on the half inch mark right there, 
take the cutting blade and slice up a quarter, oops, quarter of an inch and do that on all four sides. Quarter there. Okay, so half inch, lined up at the half inch mark, go up, quarter, flip, So you can really see it on the color. It was so hard to see on the black. See the slits right there? So now I'm gonna put this at a quarter of an inch in. So it's lined up at the quarter inch mark. We're gonna start from a half inch. Oops. Stay on there, buddy. And cut down to, I believe it's um, three and three quarters. Oops, I didn't quite go all the way down, but that's okay. And same on the other side, half inch mark, and I'm already at the three and three quarter mark with the cutter, so I'm just gonna go down to the, from that to that. Oh man, that was way too high in on that one. Let's try that again. We're going in a quarter of an inch in, not a half an inch. Sorry, so, so we've got our I-beam, sorry. We've got extra, extras in there, extra little uh, slice in there, which again, no problem. Gonna, you're probably going to cover that with design series paper, so it's not going to show. So the next thing I want to do is just show you on the color. Here we go. Okay, card base frame, two curtains, our back holders, and our I beam. I'm not doing the designer series paper for this. Just be, I just wanted to show you with the colors because it's a little little bit easier to see. So I am not using regular seal. I have decided that it does matter. <laughs> it does matter when you put your holders on, you want strong adhesive. So we're going with tear tape. Tear tape always adds an element of fun when I'm live, because you gotta peel the back off, and for some reason that's just, it's hard to do when people are watching. Okay, now you can really see that, right? Front, back, so you can see that holder. Okay. And the second one goes on the other side. Okay, so we've got our holders on the back. Yeah, right, Jeanette? Much easier to see. I agree. That's why I decided, that's why I wanted to do one quickly in the color, because the black is, I mean, it, I, I love the, the look of this one, but I get that on the video, it's really hard to see the pieces in this way. I think when you see it, it's just so much easier to, to understand it. It's, just, I, it's really an easy, believe it or not. I mean, there's a, you know, there's pieces here, but once you, once you download this template and cut your pieces, you'll find so easy. And then like me, you're going to get addicted. You're going to want to make a whole bunch of these and I want to see them. Make sure you post them on my Saturday morning Facebook shares. I love seeing your work. I love seeing what you guys are up to. I get inspired. Okay, so or, or, that slit is right there. I'm gonna make sure that's at the bottom of the card base. And so that's gonna line up with the edge. The same, fold that. Make sure your slit is at the bottom, which I did mine backwards. I should have, I should have paid attention to that before I put the adhesive on. And you know what else? I told you I was gonna show you on the example I got the wing out. I was gonna show you wing in. So actually, I think, well, let's see if I got it right this time. Let's wing out here. So wing in will go this way, right? So wing in would be a Z. Wing out, 
looks like this. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter, which just do the same. When you make when you make yours, if you want your wings in, do the Z fold. If you want, you know, this is actually good because you can see both, right? So if this was done wing in, you wouldn't have any yellow showing here. It would be all red and you put your designer series paper out. And if this was done wing out, so just do them both the same. It doesn't matter which way your wings go. So um, again, this is just my example here. This is just so you can, you guys can see the folding color. All right, I'm gonna fold these in on the I-beam. and pop it through on the slip and then unfold it. Same here. Pop it in on the I-beam and then just unfold those tabs so it stays, it doesn't, it doesn't slide in and out. Just make sure that's lined up and then boom, that's it. And then you can put your, your frame panel on Use those, those holders that we put on the back. I know this is, this is a little bit of a clown card. <laughs> you probably, I don't know, maybe you would like it, all these bright colors. I mean, they may actually make a good, make a good card, but I, I really just wanted to show all the different pieces in the different colors. Cause I think seeing that, and you can see those holders on the back there really helps you when you guys are going to recreate this fold. It really helps to be able to see everything like that in different colors. All right, so that's just an example. That was just a second fold. I'm, I'm bringing the original back. For those of you who are popping in late, that is the one that we just made originally. And I wanted to show you, I got a, I got a few here to show you guys that I hope you're gonna like. So this one I made for a friend's birthday. I showed it at the beginning, but those of you who popped in late, I'll show you again. I, took, I did a twist on it. Instead of designer series paper on the back, I used a photo. So a friend of mine, they're big wakeboarders. So I, I, I cut out a, 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 an image of a wakeboarder here and I attached it with a window sheet. So it looks like they're flying. And this is a picture of their house. So it looks like they're right in front. So it's just a personal touch. But I thought the photo on the back there really added a little something special to it. So that was, this is my second in the series. Now let me show you the rest of the series because I am in love. All right, actually, you know what? I'm going to cheat. Before I show you the rest of the series, I showed you this, this celebration paper. And in case you guys have missed these on my blog, um, I, I posted this yesterday, the, the instructions. I uh, made accordion fold cards. I love accordion folds because you don't have to choose which side of the paper to use, right? Both sides show. So these were made with that at their favorite flowers. If this is celebration paper, it's free. Uh, with a $50 order during celebration. And then this was our my free tutorial if you purchased uh, in my online store using my host code, you'll get this class free on how to make these with that. It's just beautiful, beautiful paper. So that was what I did for the original. Okay, moving on. Next, I am using the Country Bouquet. I am really in love with this suite. I've done quite a bit on the blog with it lately. A lot of classes with this. And um, I had a kit, my January kit, uses the country bouquet suite and if you missed that if you missed my kit i have um i have the uh, oh my gosh i'm gonna lose it now if i can find it i have a re-release of the kit here so you uh until monday it's just a quick one because i had so many people ask for it again and if you miss the deadline and you purchase the full suite in my online store you can still get the online class free um, but the special deal on the on the suite is only available till Monday. So that is the uh, country country floral lane suite, and this is the country bouquet stamp set and that heart punch that comes with it. So many cool things that I've done with this. I've really had a lot of fun with this one. And I, I just want to show you. I was talking about wings out and wings in. This one I put the wings in. You see how it doesn't really matter because you really can't tell. Nobody's really looking at that part. But that one I put the wings in and the other, the original that I made, I had the wings out. Okay, so that country, country floral lane, the country bouquet. Okay, this one is the brand new, it's the Enjoy the Adventure Suite. And I'll have instructions for all of these um, alternates on my blog this week. So stay tuned. Samplewithtammy.com, that's Tammy with an I. And I'll have, I'll be posting all of uh, the instructions for these and the, the templates are already there. So the one I just made is already up. 
There's a link in the video's description. You can get that. Um, you can get that right now. And then this one, it's talking about those wings. So this one, I don't know if you can see the wings are out. Wings in, wings out. Doesn't really matter. Just do them both the same. All right. I love this suite. I don't know if you guys have seen it in the new mini catalog, but the adventure suite, the mountains reminds me of some of, my, some of the landscape photos I love to take. It's so up my alley. And then I did a silhouette of the camper, this hiker here with the, the tent in the background. And I have to say the hiker silhouette, you guys, you guys let me know about this, right? Do you think he's Sasquatch? Cause I feel like he could be Sasquatch. I feel like he could go either way there. He's a hiker or he's Sasquatch. I can't really tell. I'm not sure which way I want on that one. I think I like the Squatch. <laughs> okay. So that one is the enjoy the adventure suite. Pretty birds. Have you guys, this is in the annual catalog. Did you guys see my, I did the pop, uh, the pop and twist card with this one. And it was the bird cage and the bird cage flipped. So the bird cage is part of the die set. So here with the curtains closed, we've got the bird cage. And then when you open it, there's the birdie, pretty bird. And he's floating. I have him floating on a window sheet too. So that was kind of fun because he looks like he's sitting up there on his perch and he just kind of pops up when you open up the gates there. I want to hear which one of these you guys like the best. I want to, you know, I like to know what you guys are into. I like to know which ones are the most popular. I just like to know which sets really rock your world. You see what I did there? Okay. So this one, I'm, you closed. We got the Merry Melody. I'm going to hold it up so you can see the embossed um, panels here. And this is the new Enjoy the Rhythm stamp set. And then when you open... You've got a pop-up band. Sorry, my little, my little band dude's not straight, but you guys get that. You get the idea. I use that new dry brushed texture metallic paper on that one. Super cool. Super hard to find teen ideas right here, right? So that one, you know, I've got the band on there. And then I use some of the um, brush shapes dies for the swirl in the background here and the, the little um, around the words there. And I've got one more to show you, actually two, but one more of this, and then I've got another card to show you. So this one is On the Ocean. <laughs> so you don't even want to pick. <laughs> you like them all, right? You like them all. But no, we got a couple on there. Like in the band, like in the bird. I love it. Love it. You guys are awesome. Okay, so this one, On the Ocean, and... There is a die set that comes with this. I can't even, this one's, I, I, it's so friggin' cute. I can't stand it. This is another chronic, this will be cute for men, teens. Those hard, you know, they're the hard, hard ones to, to work for. Okay. Got it? Oops. Pulled that one out a little bit too far. There we go. It's a pop, the, the boat, see them? Oh my God, how cute is that? The boat pops up. So the boats are die cuts that match the stamp set. And when you open up the card, that boat pops up. I've got some waves in the background there. So fun, right? So that one's on the ocean, but wait, but wait. Okay, this one is not um, a theater card. This this was my last theater card, but this one, and I'll have instructions for this coming soon. This is uh, I'm gonna add this onto my pop up, my my pop and twist series. Remember these? I did them a little while ago, and uh, I was like, oh my gosh, stop it! It's so cute. We've got the little ghost boat down here we got the little boat and so I got a little series going a mini series popping out of this one because I was just loving the little pirate ship there he was he was really screaming make me make me <laughs> all right so these are the cards these are my my series here I hope that you've enjoyed the video I hope that you found it helpful and I hope that you guys love this fold and um and make some really cool things with it I love to see what you guys make uh, I will have instructions for the rest of these on the blog this week, so stay tuned there. And Linda and I are going to be back on Thursday with a new Stampin' Scoop episode, and we're going to be showcasing a new suite from the new catalog that you're absolutely going to fall in love with. So on that note, I will see you guys back on Thursday, and I hope everybody has a great weekend. Thanks for joining me.